kitchen. Have you seen his mustache and his beard? Um, Derek and I met in, on October 10th, 2009, and he decided to come up to Logan from Salt Lake City for a date. It was supposed to be a, a one-night date, but instead he spent the entire weekend over. Um, funny enough, I lived in a household with five other roommates, had a small room, maybe 200 square feet, no, maybe like a hundred. And I didn't have a bed, I just had a sleeping bag on the floor. So we crawled into <laughs> a sleeping bag. It was, it was a very magical weekend. We connected on many different levels. Um, we were both students at the time, and so we did a lot of homework, um, sitting in this comfortable silence, um, went to the two coffee shops you can find in Logan, Utah. Uh, and, it was a weekend where we felt close, and so before he left that Sunday, we kind of decided to say, all right, this, this isn't love, obviously. I, I've only known you for two or three days in person, um, but I like you a lot, and I think this has potential to go somewhere, so let's make a promise to each other to be open and honest and share our experiences. and. Um, here we are. <laughs> what draws you to him? What, uh, why him? Have you seen his mustache? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Derek and I met online. He found my blog at the time, you know, as a opinionated freshman in college studying economics and philosophy. You can only have so many topics to talk about. And so I had, I had this blog that he found and we used to talk and um, he was just a very, and, and, and still is, a very gentle and kind and sensible man. Um, in addition to, um, I, I find him sexy, um, you know, as a Middle Easterner with darker skin, the redhead, um, white com complexion is a complete draw-in for, for me. Um, and I, I just felt good around him. I felt um, open and comfortable, and he treated me with love. Love is such a tangible, um, abstract feeling, and it comes in many different forms. And um, I love a lot of people, but I'm in love with Derek, and I've been in relationships in the past, of course, none of which were as strong and had a strong foundation as, as my one with Derek. Um, and I was younger too, but there's that feeling when you just know, um, and it sounds so cheesy, but I just knew. There was just this pull that this is the relationship. This is, this is the man that I want to share my life experiences with, and our first few years were years of, ad, uh, of, of adventure. And the way I like to explain it is we are two holes um, that came together and were looking at the same, at, at the same road, at the same adventure, and we're taking things on hand in hand, whether it's starting a business or suing a state or adopting a dog or traveling for three months around Europe on $400 each. Uh, we took everything as a life experience that, that we share, and, and that's something that, um, that I really value in my life, just this human want and need to share your life experiences with somebody else, and Derek is, is a great guy for that. Once you've been single for a while, or if you have never been in a, in a relationship, you are, you are accustomed to a way of life that's unique to you. Um, luckily for us, because I lived in Logan and Derek lived in Salt Lake City, about an hour and a half drive, we saw each other on the weekends only for the first year, which kind of gave us that time to build a relationship um, slowly and not kind of force ourselves or force one another onto the other. Um, and so it really helped us maintain that steady and slow growth. Although, Two weeks after we met, he traveled with me to Beirut um, to meet my family, of course. But really, 
um, if you have the opportunity to travel to a country you would not have thought you would ever travel to um, at no boarding or food expense, then why not? Um, and he, he had a, a sense of adventure. When we first moved in with each other though, that was um, one of the hardest things we've done um, as a couple for the first time because he has his way and I have my way and now we're in the same household and as, as it would be with crewmates, siblings, parents, we, we each have our comfort space. Um, but it's something that you work through and that, that's what makes a relationship stronger. What makes your relationship work? What's unique what's, or, or, or not? You know, every relationship is different and has its right. things that make it work. So what makes your relationship work? What makes it work? Well, hummus makes it work. <laughs> we, there's no, there's no set guideline for what makes a relate. There's no, there's no 25 list on BuzzFeed for a successful relationship. A relationship is unique in that two individuals create their own guidelines and their own space for what is comfortable for them. And what I think has worked for us really is open communication and honesty um, and a respect for individualism. You know, as business owners of the same business, we spend 24-7 with each other. Um, and you would think that that would drive us insane because there's no autonomy. But we find that there is more autonomy in that because we have to assert ourselves. Um, I say if I did not have the open communication of my feelings and my thoughts, um, the respect of being me and respecting him, of being him, and also understanding that just because we're a couple doesn't mean we're the same, you know, we're still people. All of these have helped us build a strong base, a strong foundation for, for our family. Um, and I think that makes our relationship work. And as I said before, we've, we're, we, are, we are adventuring through life hand in hand, and we're both looking in the same direction. And, and that's, you know, that's a strong point for us.